Welcome back, 0K fans. I have water, I'm feeling slightly better, and Silent Shadow apparently made that, that, that map choice worked. Can't argue with that, not sure if there was a strategy behind that originally, but they made it work. One way or another. Yeah, I tried SpaceX too, Scuzzy, and that, would, that didn't seem to work, by the way, for showing the explosion, explosion radius. Okay. So we are going... Well, we're going to have the game three. Oh, I didn't even put game two. It was on Coastal. Doesn't matter. Game three. Game three is going to be wherever Lowry decides. Which knowing him will probably... Or knowing them will probably be out of the Red Comet or Comet Catcher. Whenever, whenever it starts, I don't know what Lowry's planning on doing. I'm not sure where, where has... Where has Floris gone? Skype didn't... Okay, I'm assuming Skype didn't screw up on me. So yeah, this is the... I'm back. Oh, hey, Floris. Cool. So yeah, we're on the last match, bronze match, and... The last game, bronze match, rather. Waiting for Lowry, and it is Red Comet! It was one of the two maps I called. Of course it is Red Comet. Now, I'm wondering if Silent Shadow learned from Orphilius and is going to try to do the same thing, and if Lowry learned from that and is going to check for it. I'm going to go for the short... That whole short... Rush distance, that's the word. The short rush distance attack. See if that'll do the trick. And we are going to be starting as soon as... there we go. The game is going to load. And afterwards the game is going to start. And then the game is eventually going to end. Presumably. Or failing that crash, because presumably some important counter will roll over at 4 billion or so and it won't know what to do. In the meantime, we shall watch the players do things and cause explosions. Lowry's the only player who's actually kind of figured out what to do. Once again, northeast. What the heck? Okay, Lowry's just being silly with box starlight commands. They're actually going for... Okay, Hovercraft Factory to... What? I don't even... For those of you not familiar with the year, the Starlight is an unbuildable unit. It costs 40,000 metal. So even at the best of times, it would take at least 8 minutes. This is not the best of times. This is the beginning of the game. It would not take... It would take about 20 minutes at this stage. However... Looks like Silent Shadow is not, in fact, going for the... Silent Shadow is instead going for heavy tanks. Oh, Skazi was the one who cute. That wasn't Zenith, that was Starlights. Those weren't Zeniths at all. Anyway. Loudly going for Hovercraft. Silent Shadow going for heavy <laughs> tanks. <laughs> and... Silent yeah, he uh, scouts that corner this time. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, definitely learn the lesson. Silent Shadow not even going for that. Just going back to the basic strategy, figuring there's no real way to take advantage of Lowry double-checking the Northwest, even if you think about it. I'm not sure what they'd really do. I mean, you know your opponent's going to check that. What are you supposed to do in response to that? I mean, your opponent isn't really risking anything by checking the Northwest. He needs to make two scouts, or delay his first. By taking a detour. Yeah, that's a, that's something you can punish for, but it's kind of a longer-term punish. And while Silent Shadow managed to pull off longer-term punish last game, that was just more by attrition. It wasn't really so much by the same sort of longer-term punish that would oh, really Oh, he didn't watch up. my tutorial. But... <laughs> oh, one firing and shooting at the same time? I mean, firing and building at the same time? No, to move your commander to the metal spot before, uh, <laughs> before placing it. Oh, Usually you just move defend. your opponent to here, 
and then you make the construct the, the metal extractor. Oh, for so the so they cannot pick it off. Yeah. But anyway, he was fine anyway. And over to the northeast, we have Silent Shadow coming with the Kodachi. Getting rid of the Ooh, metal extractor. Ooh, metal nice extractor for metal shot. extractor. Puts everything on fire. Yeah, that was a great shot. Gets rid of the metal extractor. We'll get rid should, of the. Should get out now. But... Well, yes, definitely. But still, oh, he we'll wants get rid to get of the, the shot. The quill will goes get it? down. The yes, lotus gets doesn't the... go oh, down. How though. the hell did he manage that? Two shots. The quill was maybe hit by two shots. the constructor didn't move. The constructor didn't move. It was hit by the first shot that hit the factory, the metal extractor, and the constructor, and then it got hit by a second shot as the Kodachi was leaving. So it was actually two shots that killed it, not one. Well, this uh, puts uh, Silent Shadow ahead. It sure does. The Silent Shadow right now is actually doing remarkably well. Lowry being pushed back. I guess Silent Shadow was able to punish as well. I mean, on top of and you don't, two scouts, got rid of a metal extractor. We'll be able to get rid of another couple daggers pretty easily. Although, unfortunately, the, oh, that Kodachi's dead. Yeah, the daggers yeah, died in the process. Although, admittedly, that was a lot of daggers that died to the Kodachi. Like, Kodachi's 160, and the daggers are 90 each. So that was at least 270 metal worth of daggers dying to the Kodachi. Still less in Lowry's territory. And iffy. Hard to say. Okay. I'd rather the Kodachi live. But Silent Shadow, on the other hand, has been expanding behind that. That is good. Silent Shadow was kind of learning that lesson. I think no, Silent Shadow... But they on got... the red comma, this is the moment where you put down your first nano, by the way. Yeah. That's Plus when 18. you've got those first, or the fourth and fifth max, you can easily afford a nano. Yeah, we're at plus 18 now for Silent Shadow. Plus 21 now, actually. Yeah, they, they've hit that hump. They've hit that hump hard. On red comma, that hump is <laughs> almost your starting point. And it needs yeah. a lot of energy, too. Although, one other thing is that you have... What was it? Oh, yeah, right. Because Lowry... No, I'm not sure what I was going to say. Something to do with the the timing of the deaths of these units. Basically, the Kodachi alive is just doesn't matter the timings. The Kodachi alive is better. But then again, two Kodachis are coming in here to try to continue punish. But now, um, okay, harassment. That might Shadow should prepare for the mazes that are inevitable, or at and least find out what's coming. going on the other side of the map. Yeah, he put on enough energy now, which is good. He forgot to finish the LT. Uh, what is that commander doing? Sound of the shadows? I have no yeah. idea. It's apparently trying. It's to an intimidation uh, strategy. But yeah, it's trying to edge into Lowry's territory. I don't think Lowry's going to be scared by that. Gotta be honest. I no, think he's not Lowry's afraid of that. Frames. They're made of sterner stuff. Anyway, Nano is being built up, or caretaker rather, being built up in Silent Shadows base. Lowry. Actually, also smacking into that hump. Or very nearly. They're building a lot of others to avoid that, and they have constructors which will probably be assist building the factory. And they aren't accessing. Their commander is building a bunch of stuff already to stop that. Oh, yeah, that quill is still a caretaker. Or would be, if the hey, pathing worked. Yeah, you can put down the second nano. Who cares? You can afford it. Yeah, Silent Shadow should put down a second He's doing caretaker. another type of raider spam. Well, oh. yeah, that's that seems to be Silent Shadow's thing. First it was Duck Spam, now it's Kodachi Spam. Surprisingly, Kodachi and not Panther Spam. That's what I find surprising. Because Panther Spam is perfectly valid. That's a thing. Even Orphilius is pointing out in the game chat, this needs Panthers. Yeah, that's what you'd use. I've never seen Kodachi Spam quite to this magnitude. Or yeah, they at usually, all, uh, actually. Well, uh kill themselves in such large groups. Yeah, usually it's accompanying panthers, like one or two Kodachis for every two or three panthers. And that works out fairly well. But in this particular case, I don't know. The daggers might burn to death in time. This one won't. And the other half dozen Kodachis going towards the base. I have the mace to contend with. I seriously doubt they're going to be able to manage to pull that off. And of course the scalpels, that's always an issue. Mace, Super Riot, Laser Hover. Actually, the Kodachi should be able to deal with that fairly effectively. The initial <laughs> shot damage is 120 damage a shot. No, I wouldn't go for it. 
That's a little over half damage, but it wouldn't work. On the other hand, this also probably won't work. I mean, hey, it gets rid of the Metal Extractor and the Stardust, which definitely useful to keep in check, although admittedly, Riot no, turn it. Move, 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 yeah. move. Get out of the way before the machine gun kills you, which it will. I don't think you can re you can repair it, but it's actually going to oh, survive. Oh, it lives. Yeah, very close. And Reaper's coming in. Silent Shadow building. Silent Shadow is doing a good job of expanding and building up behind their behind their attacks. And actually, Lowry just now seeing that expansion barely hasn't actually noticed it up at this point. So Silent Shadow, they've kind of learned. I think I was going to say. They seem to have gained a bit of their morale back after the last game. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I think they'd be quite tired, but they seem to have gotten some of their spirit back, just given how they're yes, playing got now. The mace. That's good. That is exactly what they needed. And Scowls probably waste their shots in the Reaper. Yeah, they missed the Reaper at that, too. Still, the mass amount of Kodachis is, is questionable compared to Panthers. But the rest of Silent Shadow's play is fairly solid. I guess so. I mean, it's working out okay. The Kodachis need to be used more, though. I mean, they're going to build mass Kodachis, then attack with them in like three or four small groups. That's the thing to do. I'm a bit surprised it's not being done. And... On the other hand, well, these Kodachis are still going to swarm through. Kill off all these metal extractors and open things up for Silent Shadow to continue their own expansion along the south side of the map. Silent Shadow still fairly head economically, and Lowry uh, hitting. Kodachis are not ducks; <laughs> they're not as memorable. No. Although they're doing a surprisingly good job, nonetheless, and not setting each other on fire, which is good. Actually, they're doing a remarkable good job. I'm actually. Quite genuinely surprised him. It's working out well for Silent Shadow. You've got to be careful not to get him to burn to death. They don't. No, they he don't needs to micro fire, the base like a madman. Yeah, that's the tricky part. Make sure they don't die either. Still, that was a good assault. That was pretty clean. They didn't lose anything. Yeah, it was a good one. So you need to take care of the southeast, and then they're solid. However, Gage is losses. Yeah, air switch for Silent Shadow. That is being constructed. 22 seconds left for that. Nothing equivalent for Lowry. Even though Lowry's actually ahead economically slightly, they're basically at a dead heat, though. But what? Silent Shadow ahead, ahead militarily. Silent Has Shadow is way ahead things. economically. At least on my screen. Okay, well, oh yeah, 30 to 40, if you're not counting Reclaim. And then in terms of military, the Kodachis are going to get rid of the Scalpels, no problem. So they have military advantage by cost and by type counter. The only thing is that the Scalpels are retreating to the Stardust, and the Stardust is going to counter the Kodachis pretty effectively. Oh wow, the Kodachis can actually take a full hit of a uh, Scallop. That, yeah, Scalpel. that's the thing. They can take a full hit, and they're also Raiders and cheaper. So it's worth it. Because yeah, that's 620. Where's the Reaper, by the way? I, I lost it. Oh, it's in the base. It got repaired and then kind of hanging out. If I recall correctly. Where is it? No, no, it's not there at all. It's... Well, it's not Just dead. It, it went off the map, I guess. It went home. It went to see his family back home. It, it's deserted. It's AWOL. It'll get a dishonorable discharge when it comes back. Although the Scalpels, on the other hand, they're just dead. What the... Uh, yeah, that's a waste. He was lucky last time with these type of moves. But... That was a waste. There's not enough... Like, ducks are half the cost of Kodachis. There's a lot more you can get away with in that case. And even ducks aren't that spammable because they tend to kill each other. They can to kill their own side. But still, uh, got rid of the scalpels. Five the shadows in the north. Ravens. I mean, you can do a monster snipe now. Silent Shadow is still ahead. Okay, really, where is that? No more Kodachis in the base. Once again, more Kodachis in the base not being used to actually help reinforce the front. And where is that Reaper? Wait, there goes the commander. I don't see the Reaper. It's no, it, it's dead. Uh, it, it died somehow. Oh, okay. And the Stardust take care of the Ravens. Uh, that didn't work out too well, but still, the, that commander, death. It stops uh, the expansion deal. and construction of turrets in that area, so it, it is good. And it looks like those 
Yeah, they died. The Kodachis died to a mace, but even then, there are a lot of Kodachis left. There's a, about a dozen, very nearly a dozen, back up. More being built continuously. And of course, these Ravens can be gone out, sent off to every single Metal Extractor, taking them all out individually. That'd be the thing to do. Metal Extractor to Metal Extractor, just kill them all. And that's what's being done, actually. I mean, there's only one Raven, apparently, but yeah, it's, it's being used for a good purpose. Found the Shadow is just keeping Lowry's metal expansion in check. Well, there's no army from either side anywhere nope. on the map. <laughs> no, no real ground what control. What a game. Lot of focus from Lowry on the constructors and on scalpels. I don't know why scalpels. Maces make a bit more sense. Oh, another Reaper coming up. You have a guaranteed hit. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Anyway, another Reaper coming up, which is not going to take very long at all. Like 10 seconds in. Well, okay, ultimately like 20 seconds, but still. That's pretty good. A couple Reapers coming up on top of these Kodachis. I'm still surprised no Panthers, but frankly the Kodachis have impressed me. I'm very surprised. I wonder if there's been some change in targeting AI that I don't know about. That's fixed it a bit. What are those Kodachis want? Okay, that was that's not good. Go to the worker and then go from there and get rid of the lotus because that's a thing to do. And then get rid of more workers. I guess they're all they're charging. That charge is working out. And the lotuses are building desperately, but at the same time, the Kodachis are able to just burn all the workers to death. But even then, that charge is a bit of a waste. That's still a donation. That's still a metal donation. Yeah, the that's Swiss still are very it. good at defending too. <sighs> right, Silent Shadows. Egg-like tactics are starting to fall down. I mean, with a couple Reapers, like, three or four Reapers would really do the trick here. Up on a lot. Uh, you need a lot more. Like five or six? Eight? Ten? Twelve? Twenty? Yeah, hundred? something like that. A hundred? Okay, so a hundred Reapers marching them through. <laughs> four lines of twenty-five. That, that should do the trick. Staggered lines, though, so they don't block each other's line of fire. I think that would do the trick. I'd probably win. Take a little while, though. I mean, that's, what, 80,000 metal? That's like two Starlights. And Starlight's already an I win button. Let's see. That's a Strider hub. No, it's... Well, yeah, it's a Strider this? hub. It's a Strider Hub. Sound and it's going to be... Hub. Lowry, no. It. Lowry is going Don't for they? Fusion. Funnel Web. It's going to be a Funnel Web. Wow, that's... For four and a half thousand metal. Yeah, well, that kind of makes sense, given the amount that's of... That's one Brave Reaper. Sound of Shadow has. Well, where's the Reaper going off to? I don't see... Oh, I see it. Yeah, the, the two Reapers going off to the southeast. Or from the southeast, around the center. And Lowry, what's Lowry up to? What's up, Lowry? UI broke. Oh crap! Uh, save the info log. Save the info log. Put an issue on Git. We'll take care of it. Polished up in time for Christmas. Which of this race actually when the stream release will happen. Hmm. Anyway. Back to the game. Lowry apparently having fixed their UI. Not sure what happened there. Hopefully they will have their info log and make an issue on Git so we can fix it. Whatever it was. And these Kodachis are moving to their deaths. The Reapers also moved to their deaths. In both cases, not particularly valiantly. It's, it's kind of, really, it's a mindless charge. As has been Silent Shadow's modus operandi for pretty much this entire series, actually. Yeah, the flood tactics do not work when it's you versus another person directly. 
I'm guessing Silent the Shadow plays a lot of mass team games, because that's the only thing that would really explain these strategies in general. And maybe the Funnel Web will work. Funnel Web might work. I don't know. On its own, it won't. Well, then it's hoops. <sighs> what? You sound really distraught. Is it just Silent Shadow's constant robot wave tactics? No, no, tactics? no, it's nothing. It's nothing, it's nothing. Okay. Because I can understand if the robot wave tactics are pissing you off, because... Yeah, that's the thing. But then again, Lowry looks like it's gonna I'm not stop it. Okay. Well, at any rate, if that phone web goes down, I think Silent Shadow's gonna throw it. Lowry does have the military advantage, unlike with that crow and the damage it could do. There's more room in this map to really shine with mo with mobility. That funnel web is up. Now it's time for shadow spam. Well, it seems like it's mostly Swiss spam. I can see why Raven's spam would be a good idea, but... I think so, you need about... Well, what is it then? 13 shadows to snipe that uh, funnel web. Yeah. I think Lori can afford that. I think so. But whether Lauder will actually build it... Going for a Thunderbird instead. Huh. Okay, cut at the middleman. Why not? Thunderbird would outlet the scalpels take care of it. Though admittedly that's a bit like weaker. 600 per shot rather than 800. Look, you can see... Oh, for a second you could see how... Uh, Silent Sh Shadow used the... Uh, move command where everything moves at the same speed. Oh yeah, Just control, uh, right click. Yeah. Yeah. Usually you do it with the biggest unit in front, not the... Mm -hmm. Yeah, but for the moment it will give him a little bit of a... Briefly. ...momentum. Briefly, if they pick the right position... If they go, I mean, they're going straight north, which is one of the weaker positions on Lowry's field. But Lowry is also hitting the south, which is Silent Shadow's biggest position. Now instead of trying to fight with Kodachis, that's really the wrong thing to do. Getting hit by the type counter. I don't know. That's just a thing. And then the funnel web is... Well, it's lasting. That's for sure. I mean, it has repair drones helping out, so that does help. And there's the Thunderbird. They're waiting for it. Disables one of the shield generators, not both. Interesting. Effectively disables both, though. And Scalpel's trying to stop it. Gets rid of the welders. No, not quite. Doesn't even get rid of the welders yet. And the shields come back up. Stopping the Scalpel's from doing any meaningful damage. And the Thunderbird doesn't have another shot off. I think it does. I think it's going for it. Doesn't appear to be unable to fire. But it's hard to say. And the Kodachis are all forward, charging, dealing a lot of damage. Possibly going to get rid of something. There's very little defenses over here. A lot of overdrive, not a lot of defense. But enough shadows that it really doesn't... Or ravens, rather, that it really doesn't matter. I don't know if the Kodachis are actually going to go for suicide shots. They really aren't. They're being too timid. If you're going to go for a suicide attack, commit to going for the attack, not just killing yourself. Anyway, Silent Shadow took a lot of damage. Actually lost their command over in the southwest while being distracted over the northeast. Yeah, Silent Shadow's lost their command over the southwest. A lot of the maces died in the process, but really, there's not much more to be said. There's... This funnel web is... 10 seconds away from doing something else again. But frankly, it seems like it's just... that's That seems to be Silent Shadow just being stunned out so Lowry can basically do whatever they want. After They just ignore the funnel web. Not so much to kill it. But yeah, that funnel web is... Getting hit by the maces, getting hit by the scalpels. Is it gonna go down? I don't know. Doesn't look like it. Not that easily. But Silent Shadow has very little... nothing supporting it. Nothing going on. I guess this is... This game is basically over. As soon as that funnel web is dead. well for uh, Silent Shadow. Yeah, it started really well, but then they threw their units away. Over and over and over again. Yeah, Rymark, you see, the thing is, I mentioned before, and there's the funnel web gone. I mentioned it before. As 
like it's almost a I wouldn't say it's necessarily a, a linearly scaling indicator of skill but it is definitely an indicator of skill being able to handle the later game like the later and larger a game you can handle that's just directly more skill the more experience you are the more experience you have the larger the games you can handle the more macro focus you can handle the more multitasking can be handled and so it becomes easier and easier to deal with this large late game stuff which is why Lowry choose that's why Lowry chose this map. They chose Red Comet because Red Comet encourages the economy game, which they're great at. And Silent Shadow didn't go for the... I mean, the cheese wouldn't have worked, but they didn't go for the cheese anyway. They tried to outplay the economy game, and they can't. They simply cannot. Not yet. They have a lot to work on when it comes to dealing with that. Mostly just in not letting their units die. And despite the fact that this is a game where you're building a lot of units and throwing them out at your opponents, you're not building them fast enough to be able to excuse having them all die. With or without reclaim, it doesn't really matter if reclaim was a thing. It, the fact that reclaim is a thing makes it even worse, it compounds it. But still, if reclaim weren't a thing, it would still be a bad idea to throw units away like this. And really, Lowry just looks to be trying to figure out the best position to go for the killing blow. Mazes from the north, scalpels from the east. This is going to be game, and then we're going to be moving on to the finals, which is best of five. That is Orpheus and Clone. We'll see how that works. It'll be very interesting. Orpheus performed ad very well against Lauri. I mean, they won. And they won with style. And Silent Shadow throws in the towel, probably. In the politest way possible. Absolutely politest way possible. I must respect. That is... That is a very respectable way to surrender. Although GG is perfectly acceptable, it's just that that was that was pretty classy. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Lowry wins, takes third place, and we'll move on to the finals. Hopefully, hopefully none of the players in the finals fell asleep. <laughs> hopefully. None Neither or one fell asleep in the meantime. I think they're actually watching this game. Yeah, they're both watching this game. Yeah, late game, handling the late game is something that takes a lot of practice, takes a lot of working on, and it's tough because the late game, like, if you think about it, per unit time, you take less time in the late game than the early game. If you were to take, if you were to play for an hour and then you were to practice these long games, you'd be practicing two or three games. Whereas if you're the short games, you'd be practicing six to eight. So you're just you're getting in fewer situations in the late game. You're getting fewer situations in the late game that you would be when in the early game you'd be getting in the situations all the time. Into various situations. You'd have a much wider range of things you'd be learning. It's just hard to it's hard to get into the late game. It's hard to understand that unless you're practicing two or three hours a day. It's just tough. Or you have years and years of experience. Either way. Like either by intensity or by simple length of time. And yeah, Silent Shadow Larry pointing out, Silent Shadow did fight well. There there is no disrespect in that. Silent Shadow put up good fights. I mean, they took a game off Lowry. That's saying something. That was a good one. Yeah. That was a funny one. <laughs> well, the Crow did it, turned out. And Crow and the Moho Geo, was, that was just really good taking advantage of the opponent's position and breaking it as best as possible. <sighs> and now for the finals. But before that, more water. So yeah, I'm just going to take a small <laughs> break for the finals. Stay tuned. The finals will be up. Acquire Enthusiasm. I'm so pedantic. <laughs> 